please take a moment to visit inspirechildrenandyouth.org. This is an organization in South Africa run by a very good friend of mine, Ingrid, and uh, it's a an organization that works with uh, people in rural areas to create safe spaces for children and young people to thrive. They provide food, shelter, and a range of activities and projects to help restore human dignity on rural farms. And they can't do it without your help. So again, please go to inspirechildrenandyouth.org and contribute if you can. Thank you and have a nice day. Hi everybody, Dwayne McCachran here with the Asset Based Project Development or ABPD uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> Hi everybody, Dwayne McCachran here with ABPD or the Asset Based Project Development YouTube channel. Uh, you can follow my blog and the podcast as well at communityfromwithin.com. And uh, so I'm in the workshop again today and I'll, two things I want to do. Um, I'll make a separate video later, but I was just making a list of all the different projects that I need to do really soon. Like for 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 content for the channel. I talked about this before, I think, but I want to come up with, you know, interesting things to do. Uh, and it's based on trying to, you know, fix things and reuse things. I'd rather fix something if I can and reuse it or recycle things, upcycle, that sort of thing. than simply buying something new all the time or throwing things away that might still be useful. I like just the process of restoring something that's old and are broken and uh, so as you might imagine I've been saving things up to restore to fix to recycle to reuse to you know just an example um, over here on the bench Probably. so one day back just right behind the workshop here on the ground I found these here they're like uh, blacksmith tongs, and they're they're sea solid. I don't know how long they're there. They could have been there for fifty years, for all I know. And then, for example, uh, a while back I picked up this. It's an adzi. It's the head for an adzi. It's dull. It's rusty. No handle. So I want to make a handle, sharpen it up, clean it up, that sort of thing. Same with those tongs. I want to get them working again. Uh, I have lots of projects. Uh, do, 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 just for an example, um, do, do, do. I have a, an old chicken incubator or a egg incubator for chicken eggs or quail, whatever, that I want to clean up and see if it works again. Put a fan in it. Uh, various automobile projects to work on. I have a bicycle that's upstairs of the workshop. It's been sitting there for three years now that I want to uh, refurbish. I, there's 27 items on this just from walking around inside the workshop. And outside I went out and I made another list of about 10 more things. Just, there's too many things to do and, and so I've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed about it. So what I, what I thought I would do is uh, I'm actually gonna write each one of these down on an individual small piece of paper, put them in a, in, in a box or something, and I'm just gonna like picking a name out of a hat, I'm going to pick an idea out and I'm just going to work on it. Just randomly pick one out and I'm going to do that project just to start hammering out the, the, the projects and, and get rid of this stuff. So that's uh, number one, but here's the deal. Uh, one of the ones, I don't know if you can actually read my writing here, the very top list up here is called a log jack. Um, I, I, we, we burn wood here, and uh, the property is mostly hardwood, a little bit of softwood, but uh, I cut my own hardwood every year, 
and uh, the, after you fell the tree and take the branches off it, and you're trying to block it up, uh, you take the blocks and you split them, but to do the blocking, if the tree is off the ground a little bit, it's great because you're going through, you're blocking it up, but if the tree is on the ground, if it's a small tree, you know, sometimes you go use your foot to lift it up a little bit and then you're cutting it up, but that's A, dangerous because you get your foot there. You have to be careful, but B, if it's a really big one, uh, what do you do? You kind of, you try to lift up one end and get it on top of another block and you, because you don't want your chainsaw to hit the ground itself. There could be rocks or dirt or something, you're going to ruin your chain. But there's a tool for this sort of thing, it's called the log jack. And I was looking it up and you can buy them even, uh, recently I saw them on sale, I think at Princess Auto or something, but they were like $59 or something. And looking at them, I mean, maybe they're fine, but just to me, looked, let's say, smaller or not as sturdy as I would hope. Anyway, a log jack issue. There's, there's, there's a tool out there for moving logs. You might have seen something. It's like a, like a pole with a spike on it, and then it's got kind of a hook like that. And you can use that to, you, you, you hook on here. You, you hook onto the log and you can you can roll it around. Well, a log jack is like this, but it's got this kind of a leg on it. So you hook onto the log and then you tilt back like that. And then the log is up in the air. And you can block it up. So uh, that's, that's quite the exaggeration. It's up in the air a little bit. So uh, I was looking around and, and generally speaking... Um, I was looking for, look, what am I trying to say here? Um, I was looking around to see what materials I have to make this out of. I don't want to buy anything. But, turns out, I have some leftover square metal tubing from a, another project. And a couple pieces of scrap tubing, metal tubing. And so I think I can pretty much build this with the materials I have and some steel plate. The, uh, the curved part here... I, uh, I have some uh, long flat metal pieces and I'm just going to kind of like patch work some kind of a thing together to make that uh, hook piece and then bolt it on and I think there's supposed to be a hook here as well to grab the log and, and anyway that's the that's the project for tonight my goal tonight is to uh, Put that together. I, I don't want to make that part of the pull the hat, pull the name out of the hat draw, lotto draw, the, the project lottery. I don't want to put the log jack in there because I, I need the log jack now. I'm starting, I was uh, blocking some wood the other day and I, I need this, I need this tool now. So uh, let's get to it. Log jack project starting now. Okay, so hi there. Um, got a little makeshift table set up. Uh, this is just uh, um, some metal saw horses. This is an old uh, door, like an interior hollow door. Um, and I screwed down some boards on either end. I use this whenever I make a mess and I need to clean up the workshop. I can dump all, you know, if I, if I have nuts and bolts or sockets or whatever I'm trying to sort out. I can dump on this, they won't roll off. And, uh, but it also makes a handy, quick, uh, quick portable, uh, temporary work, workbench. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. So, here is the square metal tube. This is about one and a quarter inch, roughly. Uh, and it's just shy of five feet long. So I think that's perfect for the leverage I need. Another piece of smaller, like, that's... I think this is one inch and that's one, maybe one and a half inch. So this is one inch uh, square tubing, piece of scrap metal that I found. This is another piece, kind of rusty, but it's actually brand new. I bought this for another project years ago. I was doing something on a bicycle. This is like half inch square tubing. I have that. And then uh, some other scrap metal I got. 
this is from uh, there's a company a large company that brings in product and uh, they're on skids that are held together it's wooden skids held together with these metal bears and they're basically just tossed uh, so whenever I get a chance I try to grab them it's just good flat metal bear stock so I'll use some of that as well so out of this I should be able to make uh, uh, a log jack I hope so I'm just gonna do this really you know try to measure carefully figure it out um, but it's gonna be kind of a quick and dirty project here I'll have to get the what do I need I'm gonna need an angle grinder so I'm gonna have a marker the welder um, yeah the important thing is safety goggles and uh, the, the, the safety goggles, gloves, and eye protection, safety glasses, safety go uh, ear protection, hearing protectors. There we go. Hearing protectors. So the two main things is I need a leg off of it, and I need the the hook. I have to figure that out. Um, the leg should be reinforced somehow. Okay, so, um, I think the first part I'll do is I'll work on the leg. The leg is not exactly at the very bottom, but just up by about an inch usually I see them. Maybe an inch or two. And then, uh, so I'll say about here, and I'm going to weld on a piece. What I'll do is I'll use uh, this one by one as the main part of the leg and stuff, and I'll maybe use this smaller one as a reinforcement. We'll see how that works. So, in order to do that, how far do we want to go? Um, only about a foot probably, because it's not even, maybe 10 inches. I'll go 10 inches. Uh, Okay, so we have that piece, it's going to be welded onto here, and then we need the leg that's going to be on the ground, and it's going to be, it's going to be wide enough to balance the log. We don't want it too wide to be cumbersome dragging it around and stuff, so let's imagine it's going this direction. That's, a, that's about... Let's just go, uh, we give it about eight inches on either side, that'll be a total of about 19 inches long, uh, what do you think? Do, 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 do. I don't think that'll be too troublesome. I think that'll be fine. Oh. That's that. I'll just use some of this metal bear as a reinforcement on this part as well. That's why I have safety goggles. I just completely broke the wheel. 
I must have bent it at the wrong angle. Okay. Well. So we have two sports and a leg. Uh, so I think we clean these up, weld these in place. Weld, weld the bottom to the post here. Weld these supports on. And then we weld this to this, the main bar. And then we build a support for that once that's in place. Um, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, there. The leg is made. And I think that's going to be quite a struggle. Like for, yeah, I like the length, I like the feel of that. So on the ground. I think that will work. So, now what I need to do is design the arm to come down. The hook. Oh, we also put a, we have to put a tooth on here. We can, we can do that too. Um, piece of this here. Actually, I almost weld a couple of pieces of flat bear here and get two teeth on there. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll get two teeth. Uh, and then we have to decide how how we're gonna do this. Again, we can weld a piece of this flat bear on each side. Because there's holes in them already, we can run a bolt through, and then we just have to make the arm with another hole pass through there, and we can rotate. How big of a log are we going to be talking here? Bigger the better, I guess. Um, let's do the.
two teeth first on the bottom of this. <clears throat> so this is ready to go we just need to make the arm that swings over the over the log and grabs it on the other side so it's going to be roughly here Up here, maybe? Right here? So we're talking from the bottom, we're gonna go 20 inches? There's 20, so let's say this is, a, this is a hook. How big of a log can we can get with that? Maybe it should be longer. Well, it can be longer, but it doesn't have to be any higher. You need a fairly decent. We just suck to make this and then go out in the woods and get a big tree and it doesn't work. Of course, it's not going to work for any, a tree that's any more than 18 to 20 inches diameter anyway. This isn't going to, you know, it's going to be so heavy it might not be able to lift it anyway. You're just going to have to cut it. So we shouldn't go too overboard. Let's go to 22 inches. And that's where we're going to make it. What the heck? No. Uh, 20 inches. That's what I said before. So the 20 inch mark. <clears throat> so we have to think this through for a second. If we're going to use this flat bar that I have, it's got holes already. We put a couple through here. Can you see that? Put so a couple of these through here for the bolt. Then the other arm will build the arm out of the same stuff and that can swing out here. And we'll build it, you know, in a round hook, hook style. But, uh, there's going to be a lot of play there, right? So, can we, can we use a bolt with washers? Um, yeah, we, we use a bolt or a piece of threaded rod with some washers and bolts, and we just make it, you know, as loose and or tight as we need it to be. So, we need a couple of pieces of flat bar out. We need to figure out how far. And then this stuff is going to be pulled like this. It's going to be, uh, we'll round off those corners. Roughly that far. Roughly that far. Let me see. So. From these smaller pieces of bar, it's so heavy to hold it. Um, we're saying like that. So, we're talking. I'm lucky that this bar already has the holes in it, but I'm making it roughly four inches. Yeah, three, three and three quarters from the main body, and then that's when the hole is there. protection and ear protection. So I'm going to cut two bars that are roughly 
I mean, sticking out, it's four inches. Oh, wait. That's too far. No, that's, I went back here. Sticking out, two and a half inches. Sticking out, two, only has to be two and a half inches. Really, before I boil them on here, I should find a bolt that's going to pass through these or through the rod. I just saw. I have a piece of threaded rod here that fits just perfectly. Look at that. So. Basically, I'm going to weld one on, put the threaded rod through, in order to line it up to the other one. Right? Does that sound right? Sure. Back to the welder. I guess the next step is okay, we're going to need a threaded rod. If you've never worked with threaded rod before, the main thing is to keep the nut on it behind the spot where you're going to be cutting it so you can run the nut off of it and you're able to use the threads. Because if you don't have a nut on there and you cut it, you can't necessarily get your uh, the, the nut back on. some washers and some other bolts. Or other nuts I should say. Where's the nut? Okay, so I wonder if I have any more like that size. It'd be convenient. I do, there's one. If we can find one more like that big one. Then we're in business because I think there we go. No, that's a different size. No. What are the chances I have one more of the size I need? I think we, we're going to put two nuts on the inside as well. Washers. Yeah, okay. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Couple nice big washers here. Perfect. Perfect. This might work. But first, okay. We have to put this together with the bar that we're going to use. So nuts, nuts and washers aside for one minute. Let's get the bar. This one. So we have a bar with the hole in the end. I'm gonna round off this just a little bit on the end first because it's gonna be swinging in there, okay? So, now just for a second, take this apart. <coughs> just use this for. Can you guys see this? This part, I move the camera. It's dead. Okay, so now we have to figure out how. Oh, I know what I can do. Uh, yeah, I'll actually leave that like that for a second. Let's say we had that and another piece of bear. 
coming down like that somewhere. We can figure this out. <coughs> I need, uh, what do I need? Some clamps, and I'll clamp these together, another piece, until I get the angles right, and I'll, I'll uh, boom, 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 cut them up. See if I get the right angle here, I can just sharpen this part up here for the next for the tooth here. Right. I'm gonna use my marker here. So I cut them out. So I'm cutting that here. I'm cutting this part off here. Cutting that here and here. Cutting this part off and cutting this part off. Right. <coughs> That's the idea. Made it through that without using another blade. So the idea is that part, this part will go on here. I don't know which part is which. up here to see if this is how it will work and this part will go on here like that like, like that so there's our arm Cut the bottom off of that too. Actually, so next part. Next part, next part, next part. So I think, I think the way I have to do this now is, uh, oops, there I am. Hello. Uh, I'm gonna weld the arm together. This part first, then I take the C-clamp off and put it on here so I can hold it properly, make sure it works the way I want it to, then weld this part. Then I'm going to clean everything up and I'm going to paint it. Because if I put the arm on everything, then I won't be able to paint on the insides here and clean it up the way I want it to. So I'm going to do the painting first and then I'll assemble it with the washers and nuts to tighten this up so it's, it's not jiggling around too much. The, the way I the way I wanted to, and then uh, then it will be finished. So, <clears throat> and then of course we'll do a test. So let's uh, do some more welding. We have our uh, log jack. Okay, so our, uh, 
Then we're done with the welder and the grinder, or the, the uh, yeah. We're just gonna clean everything up and put a coat of paint on it. For that, I'm just gonna use a, uh, let me use a grinder with a wire wheel attachment uh, for, the, for the sanding part. It'll go really fast, like that. I, uh, whew. I was reaching for the angle grinder and I just knocked the camera over. Okay. clear I'm uh, I'm gonna look around I think I have some uh, trim clad or something lying around that I'm gonna use on this I'm not building this as a commercial product to sell or anything like that this is just for my own use it's pretty solid I'll paint it up as long as I don't leave it outside in the mud all year uh, like you know when I'm finished with it I keep it clean and bring it inside indoors it should last me a uh, lifetime so um, the question is I had some green uh, trim plant here somewhere I thought about using on it I just want something that's gonna be visible in the, in the woods uh, in case I do drop it down I think I, I think I think a uh, white paint white wouldn't be very good in the winter time. <laughs> I'll do white and red. That's what I'm gonna do. I have a little thing of red as well. So I have white and red trim clad here. It'd be like a candy cane. Does that make sense? Et voilà. Um, what I like to do sometimes, quick trick, if I know I might, I might use this brush tomorrow uh, for some other touch ups or another coat or something. I have my rubber glove. I pull it over the blade of the brush like that. 
and then uh, do that same on the other side. Oop, that didn't work. I can uh, keep the brush from drying out overnight and use it tomorrow. Somehow I'll still manage to get paint on my fingers. So that's the uh, first stage of the log jack build. I'm happy with that so far. I have no idea if it's going to work. I've never used a log jack before, uh, let alone built one, but we'll have to see how it goes. Um, I basically, you know, I just, I, I was thinking about buying one because I knew it would be useful. So I just looked at a couple pictures online when I was looking at uh, buying one. But this, if this works, uh, it'll save me a bit of money and it will come in very, very, very useful. So uh, next step, we'll come back uh, when this paint's dry and we'll decide what, uh, we'll keep the white or go with a different color scheme and, and or, uh, uh, assemble it and uh, test it out. So, till then. So, it's the next morning. I'm back in the workshop here, and this is uh, it's not completely dry. It's a little tacky, but it's dry enough that I can put another coat on it. And uh, luckily, so in the house, it wasn't in the workshop last night, but I found my uh, green paint I was looking for. I must have been painting something up by the house. So, uh, I'm actually going to paint this, well, doesn't look bad, white. Uh, I'm going to put some green on it anyway. Maybe I'll leave the hook white. And I'll paint the main part of the frame green. I'll leave the uh, other hooks down here white as well. And, uh, and, and this part. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Let's just shake this up. Okay, all done. So I kind of went with a two-tone. I left the green on the bottom and uh, most of the handle up top white. And as for the, the hook, I left it white except for the middle part green. I kind of went with, like I said, two-tone white and green. I think it'll look okay. Uh, not that that really matters. And I left the teeth in the bottom white. There's splatter, there's streaks. I'm not doing it for show. Uh, just wanted to blast. And uh, with a two-tone green and white, it'll be easier to see if I drop it somewhere in the ground. I was thinking if it's all green and I'm in the forest and the leave in, in the moss or something, I might never find it again. So, with the two-tone colors, it'll be a little bit easier to spot. Um, hopefully, it dries quickly and we can assemble it and try it out. Uh, weather, uh, the weather app on my telephone shows rain nine out of the next ten days. 
and it's pretty chilly. So uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what 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 happens here. Um, but uh, it might take a couple days for this to dry because it's so humid. So uh, here's a little closer look. It's uh, painted green on the bottom, left the teeth white, all the way up as far as where the arm will hook into it, and then the handle is all white right up to the top there for a little more green. And then for the hook itself, for the arm, it's a uh, two-tone white and green. I said even painted that yesterday, it's still tacky. So with the humidity, it's going to take a little while. And the, I painted the nuts green and left the washers white. So when I assemble it up here. So that's what it looks like. And uh, we'll take a look tomorrow, see if we can put it together and test it out if it's dry. PM, something like that. So uh, the, the, the white paint is nice and dry. The green is still kind of tacky. Um, but I thought, you know, I got a short bit of time here today. I'd like to see if I can assemble this without making too much. So the hook is now assembled onto the log jack. So here's the hook. Let's just go ahead and see. I see what's going on. I think I made a mistake with the hook. Yeah. This hook. I think I need a hook hook. The hook should be coming like this. I need a hook out like that to grab the log. Because what's happening is it's sliding off. I don't have the angle right. Okay. <laughs> the paint's still a little tacky. I'm impatient. Look at that. Oh well, it's a tool. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> so, uh, I guess back to the workshop. point on this at the uh, the other angle coming inwards so um, see it almost points up when it's at the uh... okay we're back at the same log where we tried this morning I'll see if it works with the modification Look at that. Yeah. 
It's off the ground. That's uh, that is the purpose. Oh, there's a nice stump to sell. There's the purpose of a log jack. And it seems to have worked. With that new uh, modification on the hook, right there, you can see it. It bit right into the wood and grabbed it. And now the log is off the ground so I can cut it into blocks. Uh, without having to worry about my chain. Fantastic. The one thing, so what happened was I did a few tests with it and it worked great. The hook really grabbed, but this bar actually twists a little bit here. When, uh, when there's a little bit of, uh, see the bend there just a little bit? Any, any uh, uh, movement along the log because uh, it's it's twisting a little bit from the weight. This bear, it's just uh, the bears I used to make this are a little bit too flimsy. It's just cheap steel. So um, what I can do with that is reinforce it by putting a piece of uh, maybe a piece of angle iron to it or something, or or whatever. Redo it. It, it still works. It worked fine. It's going to work fine for my purpose. I'm not going to do anything different with it right now. I'm just going to use it, and uh, if it breaks. I'll redo this, the whole arm. I have the, I know how it looks now. I'll just redo one with a small piece of uh, square tubing instead next time. And uh, that should be a little bit stronger. But for now it worked. Uh, it's gonna hopefully suit my purposes. And uh, that's it. I'm just gonna put some white paint on the tip there uh, to finish it off. Okay, everybody, uh, we're finally done. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be by the time I get around to editing because uh, uh, it was a couple hours or more of, of, of shooting just going through the whole build process so I'll uh, try to speed things up where I can cut out what I don't need hopefully and anyway uh, thanks for coming along for the journey and uh, watching this build okay that's it there's the uh, there's the log jack all done Ready to put to use until the uh, next project. Cheers.